Hi, I'm Bob Hawthorne, consultant gynaecologist at Ross Hall Hostel in Glasgow. Today I'll be answering some of your most asked questions about having a laparoscopy, which I've performed numerous times throughout my career. I'm very familiar with this procedure, so if you're having a laparoscopy soon, or know someone who is, I can help you to feel as prepared as possible ahead of the surgery. What is a laparoscopy? First things first, a laparoscopy is an operation to look inside your tummy and pelvic area. It's performed using a small telescope called a laparoscope which is a thin tube with light cable and camera attached. The camera is connected to a video monitor which displays images of the inside of your tummy and pelvis, allowing us to see what is happening without having to open your tummy. Why might you need a laparoscopy? A laparoscopy can be used to investigate a range of conditions such as pelvic pain, period-related pain and some fertility issues and abnormal bleeding. It can also be used to treat a range of conditions such as ovarian cysts, fibroids, endometriosis, ectopic pregnancy and sterilisation. Hysterectomy and some incontinence procedures and prolapse procedures can also be performed. If you're having a diagnostic laparoscopy and your surgeon is able to treat the condition during the same procedure, they may do so there and then, or they may decide that you need treatment at a second keyhole operation at a later date. All this will explain to you in detail before you decide to have surgery. Prior to your laparoscopy, you'll have been seen by a consultant gynaecologist who will have taken your history and perhaps arranged some preoperative tests such as ultrasound and blood tests. What happens during a laparoscopy? A laparoscopy involves a general anaesthetic and is performed in an operating theatre. It's a keyhole procedure, meaning that small incisions are used, usually less than one centimetre in size, one in your tummy button and two or three elsewhere in your abdomen, depending on what procedure is being performed. The instruments to undertake any procedure are introduced through the small additional incisions with the telescope being introduced through the incision in your tummy button. In order to see satisfactorily, carbon dioxide is introduced into your tummy so we can visualise the pelvis and abdominal organs and allow the procedure to be undertaken safely. Diagnostic tests will be undertaken as a day case procedure, meaning you can return home later the same day. Simple treatments such as sterilisation may just be a simple day case also. However, more complicated surgery will often require longer hostel stays. This will be discussed with your consultant, who will also give you some information with respect to possible risks and complications of your surgery. A diagnostic laparoscopy may take around 30 minutes. But if an operative procedure is required, this could take around two hours or more, depending on the complexity. When the procedure is finished, the gas is expelled from your tummy and the wounds are closed. What conditions can be diagnosed and treated with laparoscopy? If your gynaecologist feels you're showing symptoms of any of the following conditions, they might recommend a laparoscopy to investigate further. Features that may be noted during a laparoscopy include fibroids that can cause pressure and period issues, and endometriosis, which affects 1 in 10 women in the UK. Features of pelvic inflammatory disease may be recorded with adhesions and scar tissue being detected. Lastly, polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS, which causes symptoms such as excessive hair growth, weight gain and fertility issues may be noted. Your consultant will be able to provide you with information with respect to your fallopian tubes and possible fertility issues. What are the common treatments? Treatment with a laparoscopy varies. You might have a laparoscopic adhesiolysis, which is a keyhole procedure to remove adhesions in your abdomen and pelvic area. An adhesion is a band of scar tissue that joins two surfaces of the body that are usually separate. They can be formed as a result of infection such as pelvic inflammatory disease, previous surgery or as a result of endometriosis. Endometriosis is a common diagnosis made at laparoscopy and we may be able to treat this at the time of your initial diagnostic test if time permits and the endometriosis is not extensive. Usually areas of endometriosis would be excised and sent to the lab for further examination. You might be having a laparoscopic hysterectomy which is an operation to remove your womb. In many cases, the procedure will be completed laparoscopically. This is an operation that can be used for problems including heavy periods, pelvic pain, and prolapse of your womb. There are many types of laparoscopy to treat other conditions, such as ovarian cysts, which you can discuss in detail with your consultant. What is the recovery period? After a laparoscopy, you might feel tired and disorientated as you recover from the effects of the general anaesthetic. It is also common to feel sick and vomit during this time, but this should not last long. You'll be monitored by your nurse until you're fully awake and able to eat, drink and use the toilet. Before leaving the hostel, you'll be given all the information you need on how to keep your wounds clean and when to return for a follow-up appointment. For a few days after the procedure, you're likely to feel some pain and discomfort around the incisions, but this can be eased with traditional painkillers. You might also experience some bloating and cramps in your tummy caused by the gas. This is nothing to worry about and should resolve itself within a day or two. The time it takes to recover from a laparoscopy differs for everyone. It depends on factors such as your age, reason for having the procedure and your general health and fitness levels. If you've had a laparoscopy for a diagnostic condition, you'll probably be able to resume your normal activities within a few days. 
Your recovery time following a laparoscopic treatment will depend on the treatment performed and the reason for you having it. Your healthcare team will be able to explain your laparoscopy recovery timeline in more detail, offering tailored personal information about how long the process will take based on your individual needs and circumstances. We hope this video provides you with the information you need ahead of your surgery. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below this video. If you would like to arrange a consultation with me to discuss your specific procedure in even more detail, you can book an appointment with me or the nearest consultant in your area at circlehealthgroup.co.uk.